All right, so apparently chickens need a run so they're protected and all that stuff. So that's the next thing I'm building. Um, you haven't really seen me start this or anything like that, but I'm not really too far into the process either. So I'll take a look at what I've got so far. I've just kind of put the base down, tried to level out the base. And I'm doing this mostly by myself, so uh, just kind of building it as I go and hopefully it doesn't fall over and all that good stuff. Just got some braces at the bottom. Started at the top here. And I don't have this totally attached right now to the chicken coop, but I'm gonna kind of do that afterwards. I didn't build it up over top or anything like that, but this is what we've got so far. And I'm gonna build a door on the front and I want to make it tall enough so I could walk in there and clean out the area and all that stuff. That way I didn't have too many issues because I've seen a lot of people run into problems whenever they try to build these things too low. So hopefully that will help out my issues with uh, that might come up from anything like that. So that's what I got so far. So here's a look at the chicken run so far. It's uh, not done yet, but um, oh, here's what I got. So started on the door here. And a lot of this I think uh, might be a little overkill for this thing, but um, I want to make sure that it was sturdy. And I added a little bit more uh, two by threes across the top just in case I decide to do a roof on this. Now, I haven't. I don't think I'm going to do a roof um, aside from, you know, the, uh, the, the chicken wire, what's it called, the hardware material. Um, but I'm going to put that on and if I decide that it needs a roof, I can still put a roof on it and I don't have to go back and add more boards and what have you. So that's kind of the, the whole idea for it. I'll try to get in the sun so you guys can actually see. But um, so I can just kind of give you an overview of what I've used. Uh, the front part here, that's a 2x4 and the whole base is 2x4 except for this piece back here. It's just uh, treated 2x10 uh, but I had it. I figured I'd use it. Um, so there you go. That's why I put that in there. Um, up at the top we have 2x4s on the front and back. Now however the side are 2x3s and everything else is 2x3s. There's a 2x4 there, 2x4 there, a piece of wood extra that I had. So um, but, and the, the door weighs a two by four, right here. The door itself is two by threes. But, so the majority of this is made from two by threes. Um, when I was putting it together, I used a nail gun. It just made it easier for me to kind of put it together, but I went back and put screws on everything because I wanted it a bit more solid. And here are the screws that I used. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. It's an exterior screw three inch by nine um, so it has a star drive uh, head on it and uh, so those are pretty easy to put in but there are yellow I'll grab one so you guys can actually see it so this is kind of what I used hopefully you guys kind of get an idea of what I've done and uh, we'll take it from there as soon as I finish out this this door I'm going to try to hook it up to the chicken coop. Now, I kind of did not plan this out perfectly, so it's, you know, haphazard. But uh, it's a total separate piece, so now I have to figure out how to, because of where the, uh, the roof is, how to kind of piece together a little area right here so it kind of connects. So that's going to be the next uh, area I do after I finish out this door, so there's your update.
Okay, so the gate is coming up. I've got the uh, outside hinges on it and everything. But uh, one thing I'm gonna put on it is this right here. It's called an anti-sag gate. And that's a gate kit, excuse me. And it's supposed to help keep your uh, gate from sagging. So the um, reason why I'm putting it on is this right over here. So I built this shed, but I did not put this on it. I actually got one of these and I'm going to add, add this to it. But if you take a look at the top, that door has sagged tremendously. So I still have to fix that. So, so hopefully I can get that fixed and then I can use this little sag kit to keep me from having to uh, replace this or redo this over here. So that's what I'm going to add to this next. So one problem I can already see is that the screws are a little bit higher than the door. So I'm going to have to kind of make a little notch in order for that to uh, kind of slide in and out pretty easily. So that's how it works sometimes. And as all, so it looks like I'm gonna to have to take the door off in order to get the screws into the bottom part of this. Yep. Here we go. We are pretty much ready to start putting on the um, the hardware cloth on the chicken run. So let's take a look at the chicken run real quick. So we've got her all painted, door on, all that good stuff, and got it kind of connected over here to the chicken coop. Uh, still got some paint to do on certain certain parts and everything, but we're pretty much totally caught up with the chicken run. So uh, we've had a couple bad days the past couple days where it's getting cold and it's raining, and uh, we're near the end of April. And then, of course, you get this bad weather. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, so there's chicken run. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, put on the screening. So what I'm doing for the hardware cloth is I'm just holding it up. I'm getting trying to even it out with one side, putting a staple in one corner and then that way I can kind of uh, handle it a little bit easier. As you can see over here, it overlaps quite a bit. I did that by design. I wanted to make sure that I didn't kind of screw up and have to add more, more two by threes in there later on. So uh, I'll staple it all up and this, uh, I'll leave, I'll stop right about in here. That way I can bend this out and then I'll cut this off and then I'll staple the rest of it on. So that's pretty much how I'm going to do all this. So I'll uh, use these little clippers to uh, cut right here and I get it away from that corner and then I use a, an angle grinder to cut the rest of the way. and staple the rest of it in. <laughs> okay, so we've got a lot of the uh, inside of the screening done. Uh, we're getting ready to do the top. So I just set the roll up top. I put a clamp up here just to hold it from rolling down because it is an angled roof. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by stapling it at the top out here and roll it back, but so the roll doesn't roll all the way off since it is angled. I just put up a couple clamps right here 
so we can just kind of roll it all the way back and it'll sit there as we go back and it won't roll off the roof. Okay, so doing the side over there on the on the top was uh, wasn't too bad, but as you go across, then you're going to kind of run into an issue of actually having to be on top as you're stapling it down. So what I did here is I just grabbed one of my extra two by tens, uh, laid it across the beam over top of the chicken wire. That way I can just kind of climb across it as I go on this side, and uh, and she's getting the other side. So it's. You can do it by one person, but it's easier with two people. But otherwise, uh, same process, just stapling. I'm not cutting these all like I did the side panels. I'm just leaving any sort of extra on top. You're not really gonna see much of it, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, if it's a little bit uneven, if it's not perfectly square, you may have to cut off the uh, top and the sides a little bit different. Okay, so for this coop, instead of doing a Predator apron all the way around, just because of our spacing, uh, we decided to put the Predator apron on the inside, just on the inside of the run and hole. That way, uh, if anything tries to dig under, they're going to come up into a netting. But like I said, that was just mainly because of our spacing that we couldn't wrap it all the way around. So what I'm doing here is I'm digging up the dirt and I'm going to open up a space so that way I can lay the hardware cloth down and then put the dirt right back on the hardware cloth and then I'll finish up with the sand. So I'm going to dig out an area and then put the cloth down. I'm starting to think instead of throwing it all out, maybe I just do one part, slide it over, cover that up, do the next part. That might be the way to go. Okay, so here's what we've got got about half of it in but uh, that's what I'm really looking to do this is not uh, easier by any means than laying the uh, apron around the outside it's just I think this is gonna work better for us because we're right up against the fence right there and uh, just kind of close everything's kind of close to try to get anything on the around the outside so I just thought that this might just kind of be a better way for us to go so you just dug down into the ground a little bit we're gonna cover this back up with dirt it is stapled all the way around right through there and then we're just going to kind of continue we're going to throw this dirt on the other side over here open that up and then try to get all that there Okay, so I think that concludes all of our uh, material cloth. Hardware cloth. Hardware cloth. Hardware cloth. Hardware cloth. I think that concludes all of our hardware cloth that we are doing on the uh, chicken coop and the chicken run. So, one last look at that. We got everything on the bottom and we got the dirt piled back on underneath here as well. So, the next thing that we got to do is kind of lay the, the sand for the chickens but otherwise everything is now enclosed and should be halfway predator proof let's hope so 
but that's it for that. I went to Lowe's and got a bunch of sand. Now, this is that uh, construction grade sand. And we got a little bit. So that's about 26 bags total to hopefully fill in this whole bottom of this chicken run and right underneath the chicken coop. So now it's time to move 26 50 pound bags over to the chicken run. So let's get on that. And the other fun thing about this is that I actually don't have a wheelbarrow because uh, mine is busted and uh, so I get to carry 26 bags over here. Maybe I'll use a dolly. Uh, okay, so this is what 26 bags of construction grade sand looks like. So that's what we're gonna start uh, throwing in there as soon as we're done with the rock placement around and everything like that. Um, one thing I was thinking about that I wanted to tell you guys is uh, the hardware cloth that we purchased, we actually bought a lot of the stuff at Lowe's. Not that we don't like Home Depot, we buy a lot of stuff at Home Depot, but this hardware cloth, we went to Home Depot after we had actually purchased it a few times from Lowe's. We got there and this stuff was for a three foot by 25 foot roll, was $49.98 and at Lowe's it's at like 28, 28 and change. So um, yeah, we turned around and went back to Lowe's. So. Just like with anything, sometimes prices are better different places. Sometimes you can find stuff different places that you can't somewhere else. So just kind of shop around. So, I mean, you almost double it if you're buying $50 hardware cloth at Home Depot versus the stuff that we bought at Lowe's. So just something to think about. Okay, so before we put in the sand, we're gonna put some of these landscaping stones um, around the run right here. Uh, this is something else I didn't pay for. My mom was getting rid of some, so here we go. There's some freebies. Uh, so, you know me, I'm always about saving money if I can. But we're um, gonna put these on, on the front and possibly around, see how many that we actually uh, have. But the front is up off the ground a little bit, as you can see, and I was thinking if we don't do this, the dirt might try to come out as we put in the sand, so we don't really want that to happen. So we put this around and give it another, another little border and something else to kind of deter predators from, from trying to dig in there anyway. So put that up and then we'll get to the sand. All right, so here's what we got for the border. We just did a little bit of that straight stone, uh, um, the paver type stone and then we went around on the sides and put the natural stone on the sides because like I said we didn't buy any of this stuff this is just stone that we had so we're just trying to use it uh, as well as we can and you know to make it look as good as we possibly can with what we have so just a little combination of the natural stone and the straight stone and now we're going to do the sand oh fun All right, well, at least that was easy. So here we go. Here is 26 bags. Of this construction sand. So got it all spread out. Hopefully this works out because that was a lot of work if it don't. <laughs> anyway, there's that. And I'm going to call this video done. Um, this is pretty much the whole construction of the of the chicken run. So I'm going to end it there, and I will have follow-up. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys next time.